slip in one more. Uh, Bill, New Jersey, the great WABC. Go. Hey, Mark, it's uh, Bill, and uh, thank you for taking my call. Wait a minute, is this Bill? Yes. Can you prove that? Uh, <laughs> no, I can't. See that? You can't. So go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about the, the senators who voted against the uh, background check law. Mm-hmm. Um, I think uh, that, you know, like any, um, any of the amendments to the Bill of Rights, they're mm-hmm. not inviolate as far as there are uh, regulations. Well, except for one, the free press. That, that one you can't touch. Well, there are laws against libel. And, and uh, the Tenth and Ninth Amendments, they don't even exist anymore. So let's, let's, get, let's be honest. So the press part of the First Amendment is inviolate. The Ninth and Tenth Amendments don't exist anymore. The Third Amendment, people don't even know what it is. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, the Takings Clause in the uh, Bill of Rights, we know that doesn't count anymore because they... Uh, pass regulations all the time and take all kinds of property from people. But anyway, you were saying, sir? I, I, if you look at the Fourth Amendment, for example, there, there are mm-hmm. exceptions to the warrant requirement that have been recognized throughout the states and, and the United States Supreme Court. And Heller expressed... Why is that, by the way? Why are those warrant exceptions there? To, I, in some circumstances, to protect the police. Uh, no, they're there because you have situations in which you can't get to a judge in advance. And let's say somebody's going to blow up a building and you have knowledge of it, or you think you do. And yet, after the fact, you still need to go in front of a judge. You see, the problem with the Second Amendment is you're trying to take chunks out of the Second Amendment that have nothing to do with a judge. I just think that the the idea of background checks... At- we have background checks. I've got three weapons in my home. I had a background check for every one. But there are some... There are some at a places. gun show in Virginia. Well, there, there are some... Yes, areas. yes, there's one, one and a half percent of sales where we don't have background checks. And let me tell you something, my friend. That's not what's causing all the, all the maiming and murder in our country. That one, one and a half percent. It's gangs. It's drug lords. It's nut jobs, none of whom are going to go through these background checks. Don't you get it? I, I do get it, but I also think if there's in any way... It's like bombers. It's like bombers in Boston or, or, or other parts of the world in the past. They're not going to say, okay, what are the rules? They okay. exist to defy the rules. I agree All right, go that. ahead. Nothing I say is going to matter. Go ahead. Say something. I, I just think that just because it won't deter another Newtown massacre doesn't mean it doesn't make sense. And guess what? It doesn't mean it does make sense either. I, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, 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 you know what? We, if we registered everybody uh, who who drives cars, or who are passengers in cars, and even though that has no effect on what happened in Newtown, Connecticut, should we do that too? No. Should we do that too? It's meaningless. There's no point to it. Well, Tell me, well, let me put it to you this way. How many people who commit murder in this country, not even mass murder, just any murder, how many people in this country uh, represent that one, one and a half percent where there aren't background checks done because somebody sold them a weapon legally, legally, but they didn't go through the background check system? Do you know? I don't know. And yet you're here promoting it. I, I'm here promote, I, I'm promoting people... Having the right under the second Have you read the 8,000 words in the Toomey Mansion Bill Amendment that was defeated, the 7,800 words? Did you read them? I, I did not. I read the Heller decision. Well, guess what? You need lawyers to figure out how to get a, a, a firearm after they pass these laws. That's the problem. All right, my friend, got to go. Thank you for your call. You know what? I didn't mind that lib was polite and, like most libs, uninformed. Anyway, the-